right there watch, at the end. Watch, 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 watch his face. Uh, oh, that's pleasant. Yes. Everybody, welcome back to Surf Neat. We're here at Craft and Line, and we're going to be here with Calvin today, making some special cocktails for us. So come on in and let's check it out. All right, everybody, so we're inside right now. Um, I'm here with Calvin. He's gonna be our bartender for today, and he's gonna make us some specialty drinks. But before we get into that, Craft & Vine, when did we start? Uh, Craft & Vine officially opened in 2014, in the month of March. So we just celebrated our sixth birthday. Uh, I myself have been here for pushing five years now, uh, bartending for a good three years. So you started off as a server? Yes. And then became a bartender. What made you get into the bartending business or what what you want to do or what you want to get out of um, I just saw how complicated it looked and that it was very multitask I like to be multitasking you know so I figured I can do it uh, bartender asked me to join by the team and I got back here and did pretty well <laughs> all right and then did you were you always interested in bartending or was that something you saw somebody else do and you're um, like, oh, working man. here definitely brought the interest into it working at another job right so it's definitely more of a craft cocktail kind of situation or kind of vibe that you have you don't see that kind of stuff in cookie cutter restaurants yeah yes okay so craft and vine i think it's something special they have a special menu it is very good i've been here multiple times um, check out the boss pizza that they have but special wise and food what kind of specials do they have? Um, so as far as food, we definitely specialize in our pizzas. We have a wood fire oven uh, that we built just for pizzas. Um, so we specialize in charcuterie boards, small plates, and tapas food. Really what we're here for are the, the drinks and just specialty things. So tell us a little bit about that, uh, and then afterwards we can go into the things that you're making. Yeah, definitely. So far as Craft cocktails, we do a lot of house-made shrubs, syrups, um, infusions here. Um, we've recently done peach basil shrubs, we've had strawberry hibiscus, uh, blackberry mint, mint rum, a lot of different things lately. Um, so, you know, we try and switch it up, do things within the seasons with fresh fruits, fresh veggies, a lot of good stuff like that. So, every week, do y'all do different kind of special drinks every week, or is it quarterly, or how's the, how do we decide that? Um, so, every week, uh, our happy hour menu has what's, uh, what's called a feature cocktail on it. Um, the feature cocktail is something that we are working on, trying out, uh, using different shrubs or anything for. So, every week, the feature cocktail will be something different. And then typically quarterly, we'll change our menu, have like a spring, summer, fall. Nice. And then we also have a specific menu uh, only for Masters Week. Calvin's going to make some drinks for us. Yeah, definitely. Um, I'm like, super excited. And again, they're very special. And if you ever downtown Augusta, check out Craft & Vine. Fantastic drink, fantastic food. But we're going to go right into some of the drinks that he's making uh, right now. So check them out. So our first cocktail, I'm gonna do the Bill and Sebastian. Um, this is actually the very first cocktail that I made working here at Craft & Vine. Um, the idea behind this cocktail was to take a whiskey sour and a whiskey ginger and kind of make a hybrid out of it. Um, so we'll be using Bellmead bourbon as the bourbon. Um, for the ginger aspect, we had this Pataka ginger liqueur. Adds a nice subtle spice, a little bit of sweetness to the drink. Um, with that, we're going to use um, a little bit of honey. I don't like using simple syrup too much, so I like to use something a little more natural. So we went with a little honey here. And for our citrus, we're using fresh squeezed orange juice and just a quarter ounce of lemon juice. Ice it, pop it, shake it. Long pour, always. Double strain. Uh, double straining keeps out all the little ice chips, stops it from further diluting, and watering down. Top this with a nice citrus peel. I use lemon. A little twist. And you have 
Oh, Sebastian. So tell me about the flavors that you're gonna get in this cocktail right here. Um, so like I was saying, um, the idea behind this was to make a bourbon sour and a bourbon ginger kind of hybrid. Um, so you're gonna get your citrus notes from your orange and your lemon juice. Um, your ginger notes will come from the ginger liqueur, the pataka. Um, so nice little balance, it'll be good. All right, so let's try it. Yeah, it's a nice crisp flavor. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, the citrusy orange kind of goes throughout. And it's not very like alcohol robust. On no, it. so with this drink, I wanted to make a bourbon drink that was very approachable um, for people who typically don't drink bourbon. Um, so with that, the honey kind of mellows it out. Yeah. Um, using more orange than lemon makes it not so tart. And just that touch of ginger just adds a little something nice to it. That's nice. So a really great, simple cocktail. It's been a classic ever since its original creation. And you can get that anytime here. Yes, right? that is uh, always on our cocktail menu, typically at the top of the list. Definitely right there. check it out. All right, so down for the first one. Let's try the next one. Awesome. Um, so the next cocktail that I'm going to make for you today doesn't really have a name. It's kind of a Calvin special. You know, to kind of come in and ask for it. But um, it's gonna be featuring Los Vecinos Mezcal. I'm really into Mezcal right now. I really love the smoky flavors to it. Um, so it's gonna be kind of a play on a Negroni, but we were going to use Mezcal instead of gin. You're gonna stick with your Campari, Italian bitter liqueur. And instead of doing a sweet vermouth, we're going to use grind coffee liqueur. This is going to be your sweet aspect, but add some nice coffee flavors to the drink and mellow out the mezcal just a touch bit more. Ice it up. Let it hang out. Get you a nice orange peel on there. twist and this is Calvin's special mezcal coffee drink so second drink right here and flavors of this one uh, you'll get smoke which can come from your uh, mezcal bitterness from your Campari and that'll all be sweetened out with your grind um, which is also going to add a coffee note and I think that's orange zest on there uh, orange goes with Campari coffee and mezcal naturally so naturally you gotta use the orange twist. Never would have thought of these flavors all together. So let's try that. Cheers. Amazingly smooth. It is crazy. Um, so I would say a lot of uh, the coffee flavor in the front end, and then you get a little bit of the roasty smokiness at the end, which is absolutely perfect for a coffee drink. Yes. Kind of. I thought it was going to be more of a four note on the smokiness, but it's just right there at the end, right after you taste the coffeeness. So it's absolutely perfect drink. And I do not like smokiness too much. So I'm going to take another sip really fast. So, yeah, so for me, I like to drink this drink uh, as a nightcap. It's definitely a twist on some things. Yeah, for sure. Absolutely great. Fantastic job with that. Thank you. Thank you so much. So we have one more drink here we're going to do. What's the name of it? Uh, the name of this cocktail is going to be The Smokers in the Outfield. It is a newer addition to our cocktail menu. It's a great cocktail. It's going to be very spring forward, lots of herbs, very light, very frothy. So right now it's technically not on the menu, but it's coming very soon. It is on the menu. Oh, we it is on the menu. recently added it um, awesome. in the past month or so. Yeah. Okay. So check that out. All right, so with this drink, uh, it's gonna be a gin-based drink. We're using the St. George Botanivore. Uh, very botanical style gin, which is what I wanted in this cocktail. I'm um, using lots of herbs. And the botanicals match it perfectly. So we have our gin. Next, we will be using green chartreuse. This is a herbal liqueur made by French monks. I have lots of grass, and earthiness to it. Um, topped off with 
fresh lime juice, and a house-made rosemary simple. Uh, rosemary simple is very easy to do. Um, just make your simple syrup, equal parts sugar, water, put it in a pot, and just let some rosemary steep in that. Strain out the rosemary and put it in a bottle. Now the secret of this drink is it's going to use an egg white. Egg white on this drink will add frothiness and it's really going to capture the smoke that we add at the end of making this cocktail. Now the trick with egg whites is you have to shake them for an extended amount of time to make sure they're nice and frothy and the egg is properly whipped. So the second step is adding your fresh herbs. Here we have fresh basil. Anywhere from six, eight leaves should be pretty good. Rip it up, pop the aromatics in there. And then we also top that off with a little bit of fresh rosemary. Rip it in there. A couple stems are okay, because we will be straining this all out to keep a consistent and smooth texture. Ice it up. And give this a really good three to five minute shake. Approaching three minutes. And then for our final touch, we're going to smoke this cocktail. So what we are smoking is a combination of fresh uh, herbs. We use basil, oregano, lavender, rosemary, almost any dried herb you can find in your kitchen. So what this is do is going to add a huge aromatic to the drink that you smell throughout the drink. Um, that's going to be captured into the egg white. So after this is set for a good 30 seconds to a minute in smoke, we raise the glass. Separated from the rest of the drink, you have all your beautiful green from all your fresh herbs, basil, rosemary, lime, rosemary simple, green chartreuse at the bottom, and that is smokers in the oven. Nice. Cheers. All right, so we have our third and final drink right here. Um, definitely you see the different layers between the egg whites, the frothiness of the drink. I'll show you right here. Uh, tell me the flavors of this drink. So the very first thing you're gonna get at this drink as you put it to your nose is the smoke from all the smoked herbs that we put into there. Uh, as you drink it, you'll catch the creaminess from your egg white, followed by a very, very smooth palate uh, fresh herbs, lime juice, and gin. It'll be a very crisp drink. Now, while I was smelling it, definitely get all the, uh, the herbs in there. It's definitely like a robust smell on that. So it's, I'm very excited to try this drink. It smells delicious. Thank you. Very clean drink, citrusy. Again, delicious. Thank you so much. Thank you, of course. Is it? <laughs> yeah. Is it really? Yeah, it's absolutely fantastic. I've never had whipped egg whites in my drink before. That is kind of part two of a mini series I might be working on. Uh, the first being called the Smoker's Room, which is very similar, but uh, going to be scotch based with orange notes, cinnamon, and a lot of ball spice to it. The idea behind that was thinking of a cocktail that you would smoke in like a humidor while you're smoking cigars, stuff like that. So, three fantastic drinks. Check them out on 12th and Broad Street down here, downtown Augusta. 
Craft and Vine, uh, we're open Wednesday through Saturday. Uh, Wednesday through Thursday, we have happy hour from 5 to 6.30, and again from 9 to close. Friday and Saturday, 5 to 6.30, it's in to close. Uh, right now, with everything going on with COVID and everything like that, we are offer, offering 15% uh, off to our healthcare and F&B workers uh, Wednesday and Thursday, um, 9.30, or sorry, 9 to close, and that'll be on food, and that also includes like our happy hour drinks as well. Yes. So come on down for sure. Definitely. As for Calvin, he'll be here all the time. <laughs> and if you have any other questions, we will link the website to Craft and Vine in our description down below. Check it out. Stop on by. Say hello. Tell me from Surf Me to check out one of the videos and you stop by. Highly appreciate that. And as always, serve it neat.